Hey there fellow hungry travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Toronto. And today what I'm doing is give you advice for eating here in Toronto, because I don't really have a necessary list of here's the five things you have to eat when you're here, because Toronto is such an international city, it's such a diverse city, there's just too much food to bring up. So I'm gonna give you more advice for eating when you do come to Toronto, as opposed to traditional Toronto foods, okay? But I, I will start with one very, very, very traditional Toronto specialty, and that is a pea meal bacon sandwich. Look, if you're gonna go to the St. Lawrence Market, you're gonna go around town, you'll see people that are selling it. It's basically, think of um, like pork rolled in cornmeal, and they slice it thin, cook it on a flat top, put on this fantastic bread, a little mustard, it melts in your mouth. And if you're wondering how the taste is, the taste is kind of like somewhere between ham, like if ham and a bratwurst had a baby, that's what it would taste like. And it's actually really, really good. It's nice, cheapy to get. St. Lawrence Market, it's a fun place to go get one if you want to. Plenty of places to sell it around town though, but that's one definite Toronto specialty you have to have. And the thing is, the St. Lawrence Market in general is a food advice I wanna give you. If you're looking for a market to go to, the St. Lawrence Market gets ranked as one of the best like, food markets in the world. So you can go there, you'll see the cheeses, you'll see the meats, but what's nice is yes, you can get the pea meal bacon sandwich, but also there's bakeries there, there's all kinds of stuff for you to try. And when you go there, I recommend going and trying some butter tarts, a Canadian specialty. And what's cool is there, you can get both types because there's the people that like butter tarts with raisins in them, and there's people that like butter tarts with nuts in them, but the pecans. And you can get both and you can try your own when you're there and see which one you like better. Also, if you're there, there's also other stuff like, if you wanna get a pastel de nata, a Portuguese tart, it's a little custard tart. Oh my God, they have those there too fresh. So you can go there and snack and eat. It's really a fun place to go because it's a tourist destination. It's a place to grab food. It's also a place to have a nice time. And if you're gonna be doing kind of a, a apartment stay when you're here, you can go grab your meat and your, your stuff to grab from there, the bakery stuff there, to take back to your hotel, or sorry, your apartment or wherever you're staying, instead of having to go into like a boring grocery store. So that's really fun. So that's another food thing you have to do when you're here. Now, the most important part, I think, about the food culture here in Toronto is the international nature of this city. I mean, this city has people from everywhere. And so everybody brought their food with them. And so you have incredible everything when you're here. It's not just French food or Chinese food or Korean food. It's from everywhere. You want great Polish food. You want great Portuguese food. You can have so much. I, you know, Joss and I, we went to Koreatown last, we were, last time we were here and ate a fantastic Korean food. Chinatown, another trip here, ate fantastic Chinese food. Little Italy, go to Greek town and eat there. I mean, Joss is like, this is legit. I mean, you have such great international food that's here. Just pick a country that you want to try their food from and there'll be a restaurant here. Because if there's not, there's not a restaurant for it in the entire country, okay? But it'll be fantastic. And what I love about the international food here in Toronto is even if you go to like a cheaper place, right? Or a fast food version of international cuisine, it will probably be better than the fancy version of that restaurant in your own hometown, okay? So you will eat well here no matter what, okay? Now I know I said you should come here and eat international food because it's so good here, but also I gotta tell you is, don't forget, you can eat Canadian food here as well, the old classics, right? If you wanna get your poutine, yes, you can have that with the, you know, the French fries with the cheese curds and the gravy on top, you can get that. You get all kinds of stuff from all over Canada because people from all over Canada have moved here. So if you wanna get your smoked meat, you can get that here as well. So you can get those Canadian classics, but I think one of the Canadian classics that's really important to get when you're here is the beef. Like, I know we're not Cowtown, that's Calgary, but honestly, people love beef here. When you go around downtown, you will see tons and tons and tons of steakhouses. Also, kind of the go-to meal when you go out with your buddies is to go get a burger and fries. I mean, it is a thing here. It's a traditional food. It's not something, oh, it's McDonald's. No, 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 no. You go to a bar, you go to a brew pub, anything like that, they will have fantastic burgers. Oh my God, with fantastic fries, you can't go wrong, okay? But there's a lot of the traditional Canadian things you're gonna enjoy when you are here in Toronto. So don't worry about that. And I think a really traditional Canadian treat you should have when you're here is another advice I have for you, and that is drink local when you're here. Toronto has a lot of breweries around town and they make great beer and the locals demand great beer. So they deliver great beer. So whether you're going to a brewery or a bar or wherever, ask them, hey, you know, give me whatever's on tap. They'll give you whatever's on tap. It's their local thing. That's what you're gonna enjoy. You don't have to get the big macro brews. You can, they're still good, don't get me wrong, but you wanna do the local drinks when you are here and so that can help you out. Now, when you're going around town, whether you want international or 
Canadian or whatever, just know that this is very much a city of neighborhoods. So you're gonna go around and have different food in different neighborhoods, but it's not like just one neighborhood has only one kind of food. So look around and wherever you're staying, I know you're gonna find some great places to eat, okay? And, and if you're looking for a good breakfast, because a lot of the hotels downtown charge insane prices for a breakfast, go find a breakfast spot to have brunch because there's some good brunches around here, or just go grab yourself some old fashioned pancakes and maple syrup, which you can never go wrong with anywhere in Canada, especially here in Toronto. So what are some advice you have for people that are coming to Toronto to eat and enjoy the food that's here? Because I wanna help out more travelers, because yes, you can get beaver tails down by, you know, down by the waterfront, but that's an Ottawa thing. But again, remember, Toronto gets people from everywhere, even from Ottawa. So I hope you have a great time. Eat well when you're here in Toronto, because if you don't, that's on you, not on Toronto. They got too much good food. Bye.